good day. I am Don C. Obligacion. I, together with my teammates, Sir Rolando Peñaflor Jr. and Mom Maria Teresa Esirillo, will talk about physical growth and development. First, let us define growth and development. Growth is the process of physical maturation resulting an increase in size of the body and various organs. It occurs by multiplication of cells and an increase in intracellular substance. It is quantitative changes of the body. While development is the process of functional and physiological maturation of the individual. It is progressive increase in skill and capacity to function. It is related to maturation and myelination of the nervous system. It includes psychological, emotional, and social changes. It is quantitative aspect. Principle of growth and development. There are three directions for the principle of growth and development. Cephalocodal direction, proximodistal direction, and general to specific. The process of cephalocodal direction is from head down to tail. This means that improvement in structure and function comes first in the head region, then in the trunk, and last in the leg region. While the proximal process in proximodistal is from the center or midline to periphery direction. Development proceeds from near to far, outward from central axis of the body toward the extremity. General to specific. Children use their cognitive and language skills intelligence, and hormonal influence. Growth and development age periods. Infancy. We have two age periods under infancy. We have neonate, which is from birth to one month, and infancy, which is from one month to one year old. Early childhood, we have toddler, which is from one to three years old 
and preschool, which is three to six years. Middle childhood, school age, which is from six to 12 years old, and late childhood, which is the adolescent period, which is from 13 years to approximately 18 years. Growth and development. Assessment of growth. Assessment of physical growth can be done by anthropometric measurement in the study of velocity of physical growth. Measurement of different growth parameters is the importance of nursing responsibility in a child care. Weight. Weight is one of the best criteria for assessment of growth and a good indicator of health and nutritional status of a child. Weight of the full terms neonate at birth is approximately 2.5 kilograms to 3.5 kilograms. There is about 10% loss of weight first week of life which regains by 10 days of age. Then, weight gain is about 25 to 30 grams per day for first to three months and 400 grams per month till one year of age. The infant double weight can gain their break weight by five months of age, triple by one year, four times by two years, five times by three to six years, and seven times by seven years and ten times by ten years. Then weight increased rapidly during the puberty followed by weight increase to adult size. Length and weight. Increase in height indicates skeletal growth yearly increment in height gradually diminished from birth to maturity. At birth, average length of a newborn baby is 50 cm. It increased to 60 cm at 3 months, 70 cm of 9 months, and 75 cm at 1 year of age. So the child doubled the birth by 4 to 4.5 years of age after there is about 5 cm increase in every year till onset of puberty. Body Mass Index or the BMI It is an important criteria which help to assess the normal growth of each deviation, malnutrition or obesity. BMI equals weight in kilograms divided height and meters. BMI remains content up to the age of 5 years. If the BMI is more than 30 kilograms, it indicates obesity. It, if it is less than 15 kilograms, it indicates malnutrition. Underweight increased to 18.5. Normal weight is 18.5 to 24.9. Overweight 25 to 29.9. Obesity of BMI are 30 or greater. Head circumference. It is related to brain growth and development of intracranial volume. Average head circumference measured about 35 cm at birth. At 3 months, it is about 40 cm. At 6 months, 43 cm. At 1 year, 45 cm. At 2 years, 48 cm. At 7 to year to 50 cm. And at 12 years of age, it is about 52 cm, almost same as adult. If head circumference increase more than 1 cm in 2 weeks during the first 3 months of age, then hydrocephalus should be suspected. Head circumference is measured by ordinal top, placing it over the occip occipital protuberance at the back above the ear on the side and just over the suprabetal ridges in front of measuring the point of height circumference. Fontanelle closure. At birth, anterior and posterior fontanelle are usually present. Posterior fontanelle closes early few weeks, 6 to 8 weeks of age. 
The interior font channel normally closes by 12 to 18 months of age. Early closure of font channel indicates pressure tenosis due to premature closure of skull sutures. Chest circumference Chest circumference or thoracic diameter is an important parameter of assessment growth and nutrition status. At birth, it is 2.3 cm less than head circumference. At 6 to 12 months of age, both become equal. After first year of age, chest circumference is greater than head circumference by 2.5 cm and by the age of 5 year, it is about 5 cm larger than head circumference. Chest circumference is measured by placing the tape measure around the chest at level by placing the tape measure around the chest at the level of the nipple in between inspiration and expiration. Mid upper arm circumference or MUAC. This measurement helps to assess the nutritional status of younger children. There is growth due to inadequate nutritional, which can be the simple particle and useful measurement. So this is the example of MUAC. The average MUAC at birth is 11 to 12 cm. At 1 year of age, it is 12 to cm. At 1 to 5 years, it is 16 to 17 cm. At 12 years, it is 17 to 18 cm. And at 15 years, it is 20 to 21 centimeters. Eruption of teeth. There is a variation for ta the time of eruption of teeth. First teeth, commonly the lower central incision, may appear in 6 to 7 months of age. It can be delayed even up to 15 months, which also can be considered within the normal range of time for teeth. So, dentition is not dependable parameters for assessment of growth. There are two sets of teeth. Temporary teeth bigger in size for two sets of teeth. Osseous growth. Bony growth follows a definite pattern and time schedule for, from birth to maturation. It is calculated by the appearance of ossification center by X-ray study. Skeletal maturation or bone growth is an indicator of physiological development and continue up to 25 years of age. Growth monitoring. Assessment of growth may be done by longitudinal and cross-sectional studies. The common parameters used for growth monitoring include head circumference, chest circumference, UL or LS ratio. The following are the three members used for comparisons. Use of mean, median values, use of percentile, use of indices as weight for height and weight for age common reference values are hw reference value so have your child weight at the aw center regularly so this is the example of growth chart assessment of development normal development is a complex process and has a multitude of facets. However, it is convenient to understand under the following gross motor development, fine motor skill development, personal and social development, language, vision,
assessment of development. Healthy development in all forms, particularly social, emotional, communication, and behavior, should be monitored by parents and physicians through screenings at each well visit. Tests like the Denver Developmental Screening Test, Denver Articulation Screening Examination, or DAIS, Baroda Screening Test, Trivandrum Development Screening Test, and other tests like Woodside DST, Cognitive Adoptive Test, and Early Language Milestone, etc. The, development, the Denver Developmental Screening Test, developmental originally by Franken, Berg, and Dodds, 1967, this simple, economic, and useful test screens for developmental delays during infancy and the preschool period. On the test, the age division are monthly from two years of age and half yearly from two to six years of age. Paroda screening test. It was developed by Dr. Pramila Patak with 25 test items, primarily for psychological aspects. The test is relevant for age 0 to 30 months. Gross, gross motor, fine motor, and cognitive aspects are evaluated in 10 minutes, mainly by psychologists. Trivandrum Development Screening Test it is Simplified version of Baroda BST that can be used by the health worker, nurses, and pediatricians or physicians. It has 17 relevant for 0 to three, 2 years of age. The children are evaluated in three domains, gross motor, fine motor, and cognitive for 5 minutes only.